All right, so here we are talking about Yu-Gi-Oh versus Magic. Not really versus each other, but what a Yu-Gi-Oh player who's loved this game their whole life, always played it, can find by trying out something new, trying out Magic. And I'm going to basically share my experience with you guys. So I was playing Master Duel, and of course, I came across one of the all too common tier limits decks. If you played against one of these decks before, you would know that it's pretty much unstoppable once it gets going. So as tier usually does, a bunch of graveyard interactions happen, and I found myself up against a full board of beat sticks and negates, plus the player had 4 cards in hand, mind you he had 2 cards in hand and a single monster and spell on the field to start his turn. I had bestial Druus Worm on the field and an Arc Nemesis Protoss in my hand. His board was pretty crazy, but if I could get his tier limits Rukulos off the field, I would be able to special summon my Protoss next turn and wipe the board to hopefully have a chance of victory. So after he went to battle phase and destroyed my Druus Worm, I targeted his Rukulos using Druus Worm's effect to send it to the grave. Unfortunately, I didn't notice its second effect. If this fusion summon card is sent to the grave by card effect, you can special summon this card, aka I'm screwed and couldn't have gotten Rukulos off the field without either a card that could return it to the hand or banish it. That was the only play I had left, so of course I promptly lost the duel. I immediately closed Master Duel afterwards and started watching one of my new favorite wind down series, Command Zones Game Nights. After what I just went through, watching these guys have fun, playing a card game I didn't fully understand piqued my interest in Magic. It seemed like everyone had a chance to win, even after they were a few turns into the game. Whereas in Yu-Gi-Oh, you usually know what the result of the duel will be by the first or second turn. So I sent a buddy of mine a text. I want to try Magic. He was obviously very excited since he's been asking me to try it for a while, knowing how much I loved Yu-Gi-Oh. So I went over to his house, he passed me a Treebeard deck, and he played an Aeowyn deck. I love Lord of the Rings, so the fact that we were using this card made me doubly invested. We played 4 games and I came out with a 1-3 and three record for my first time ever playing Magic. I won't lie, I was pretty excited after that one win. Given the fact I was new and my buddy had more experience, I love that my first experience playing Magic was going in raw with one of my best friends using cards based on a franchise I love so much. It was the perfect chemical reaction for a great time. I came out of that session thinking to myself, wow, this game is definitely different but my experience with Yu-Gi-Oh helped me get going pretty fast. Obviously some things needed to be explained, but we didn't play any open hand games, we just drove straight in and if I had any questions on the fly, my buddy would explain. By game 2, the game I won by the way, I was already getting my bearings. That entire story from the frustrations of modern day Yu-Gi-Oh to discovering magic to finally playing it for the first time led to this very video. I want to introduce Yu-Gi-Oh players who have maybe fallen out of love with the game to a similar card game that might just be more fun. So I figured I'd break down the final turn of the game I won and why it felt so fun and satisfying to win that game. As mentioned before, I was playing a Treebeard deck. We played Commander, which is the most popular Magic format, and Treebeard Gracious Host was my Commander. A Commander is basically your boss monster, but it isn't in your deck or in your hand. It sits on the side until you've accumulated enough mana to summon it, which in this case is two non-colored, one white, and one green, so four in total. That brings us to the mana system in Magic. This system is the main reason why I think Magic is more balanced than Yu-Gi-Oh. You see, you're only allowed to play one land per turn. In Magic, each land usually equates to one mana, meaning each turn you get more and more mana to work with. The beauty is that if you have a powerful card like Treebeard for example, you won't be able to bring it out on turn one since you only have one mana and he costs four. Unlike in Yu-Gi-Oh where you usually combo off on turn 1, might have to fight through a couple negates but still come out with a pretty powerful board immediately. Don't get me wrong, Magic can definitely develop some pretty crazy boards but the difference is those come later, meaning each player gets a good chance to prepare their board and slowly build up to the end game. That's why Magic games are usually 45 minutes to an hour. So on the turn that I won, my board was pretty developed, I had Treebeard, who was already a beefy boy at 914, a soul warden, a cleric class that was already at level 2, 4 food tokens, and 8 mana of mixed green and white to work with. So I sacrificed 3 food tokens which comboed off with my cleric class and my tree beard, boosting my life to astronomical levels and giving my tree beard plus 1616, 16, 
meaning he was now a 2530 beast. After sacrificing my food tokens, I was left with two mana, and I used that to activate Inscription of Abundance, using the second option. My highest power was Treebeard, meaning I gained 25 life, triggering the same combo as before and increasing my Treebeard to a 5156 absolute destroyer of worlds. Obviously, I attacked with Treebeard that turn, and even if my buddy blocked with all his creatures he had on the board, it wouldn't be enough to kill Treebeard or save his life total, resulting in an exhilarating W. If you remember earlier, I mentioned I had 8 mana to work with, meaning this final turn play wasn't available to me until at least the 8th turn of the game, meaning both of us got 8 chances to play the game before it ended. To me, that's the main thing that modern day Yu-Gi-Oh has lost, a chance at victory, a chance to play the damn game. Even in the games I lost, I never felt completely out of it. I could see my opponent's board was better than mine, but never lost hope because there was always a next turn. In modern Yu-Gi-Oh, there is no next turn. You usually win or lose within the first two turns. So, for all my Yu-Gi-Oh brethren out there who have fallen out of love with the game, maybe give Magic a try. You might like it. You might even love it. Take it easy.